right here. Your feet are going to go down there. Your right. arms are going to go above your head. 54-year-old Greg Ranallo is here at the University of Kansas Hospital Indian Creek campus to get a CAT scan of his lungs. But it's not just any scan. This is a low-dose radiation scan with about half the exposure to radiation compared to a regular CT scan. And that's a good thing. Any radiation that you receive is cumulative. There's no way that you can ever get rid of it. Of course, radiation can cause, as we all know, cancer. So we want to try to do as small a dose as possible and still receive diagnostic imaging. Breathe in, hold your breath. Greg's scan takes less than three minutes, about the same amount of time it took his wife, a nurse, to convince Greg he needed to take the test. Greg has risk factors that enable him to get this scan at a reduced cost. He has diabetes, slightly high blood pressure, and has smoked for 30 years. The last 15 to 20 years, um, about a half a pack a day is all I smoke. How was it? It was very, very quiet. Despite his efforts to quit, it's his lifelong habit of smoking that makes him a candidate for this new screening tool. We're using the NCCN guidelines, and so we're looking at patients uh, 55 to 74 with a 30-pack year history of smoking. Um, if there's some occupational or um, history of cancer, then we're decreasing that age to 50 um, with a 20-pack year history of smoking. The CT machine is equipped with new software and hardware that utilizes the lower radiation levels. An update made possible through this year's Treads and Threads fundraiser at the Kansas Speedway. Based on what the results are showing, Joanne will have Greg's test results by the end of the day. She arms him with tips and information to help him stop smoking. He's hopeful. Okay, maybe today I go, whew, but then maybe this is the thing, next step I take is I'm not buying any more cigarettes. I'm doing this for me. Greg is the first patient to receive this low dose screening here, and he won't be the last. Research shows one life is saved for every 320 high risk persons getting screened. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Jill Chadwick.